And this topic is a touchy one. Didn't really want to talk about it again, but I'm going to talk about it briefly and be done with it. Now that new information has come to light, information I already knew about, but information that's been made public, as you can see here. So I'll gloss over it, talk about it shortly. And um, but you can basically see for yourself that Richard Brendan Coleman is in jail at the time of this recording. And if you read through it, there's an address there, but that address isn't where the family lived. That's not, I guess that's where he may have fled to, or I don't know. I'm not sure what that address is. Uh, he's been incarcerated for 13 days as of the time I put this. Booking date, May 4th, 1039 p.m. He's 33 years old. And the charge, as you can see, is continual, continuous. I'm not going to say those words, but you see them. Continuous, continuous, $150,000 bond, Ellis County. Ellis County, yeah, that's that's where they, they actually live. They were living in Ellis. I believe in Ellis County is borderline Ellis or Tarrant. I thought it was Tarrant, actually, but perhaps it was Ellis, or maybe he was just happened to be in Ellis. It was on the border where they live. Okay. I alluded to it in a previous video, but didn't want to say. I've been knowing for quite some time, actually, what happened. A whole lot, actually, of what, of what happened. A whole lot. From what I... The allegations that I've heard, the, these transpirings actually happened around September, October of last year, 2021, where um, there were some continuous situations, if you will. Continuous with, with um, underaged. Yeah. They have a adopted daughter together. If you look in the photos, look on the Instagrams, you'll see. That's all I say. You, you'll see. There's an adopted daughter there that was subject allegedly to these to these charges. And if you look back into photos from September, October, or perhaps when there were uh, when Cora and the child were in California with Sarah. Just look at the face. You can always tell when a child is going through something. You can always tell when there's like, they're experiencing something, when they're holding something, when they, when they when they need to let something out, or when they're unhappy for a reason. You, I think you can always tell. Me personally, I'll just be uh, transparent, being a victim of 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 uh, uh, how do I put it without getting pinged on here? Uh, abuse as a child. In that, in, in the same way as it's saying on here, I know. As a full-grown black man at thirty, late in my late thirties, I know that it weighs heavy on a child. I was five. I think she's what thirteen, fourteen, if that old. So as we see here, the story's out. To some degree, they're not pointing who it is, but I'll just share it with you. Uh, other commentators have talked about it as well. Um, not a lot is being said about it, and that's 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 fine. It's good because there's some healing that needs to take place. As I stated, Cora's an amazing person. She didn't she didn't deserve to go through this. The family didn't. Jake's, Sarita, and especially the child didn't deserve to go through this. This was. This guy was the father to her. And he betrayed that, betrayed the trust. And not only did he allegedly, I'm going to say allegedly, betray the trust, he allegedly fled and allegedly, allegedly lied about doing it and allegedly refused to take a lie detector test when asked. <laughs> And allegedly left the state and went west, allegedly. Allegedly, uh, allegedly committed this 
these at least one of these instances at the home of the big guy, allegedly. It's all allegations because all we see that's tangible is that this gentleman is in, is in jail for continuous transpiring with someone not of age. Everything else that I've said is alleged. Hmm. What are your thoughts? So, so I just want to say, I want to say, I'm not the most religious person anymore. But I will say this, as again, as a survivor, listen to, not only listen, believe, not only listen, not only believe, not only listen and believe, but also observe your children. Please don't be so, and this is not necessarily the case for Cora, but just saying in general. Now, I'm not even saying it's the case for my mama, but I'm just saying in general. Because this happens more than we, more than not. This happens a lot. There's so many folks that have suffered this type of uh, abuse that have not said nothing or it wasn't, or was scared to say something or did say something and was not believed. I never said anything. So I'll say, listen to, believe, observe your kids because a lot of times, many times, there's a person in your house, can be male or female, because my perpetrator was a female cousin, little cousin, that could be um, altering the entire future of your child. Altering in a way that affects them for the rest of their life. And your child might just be scared to talk about it. I don't know how to say it for fear of what may happen. And a lot of times when the kid does say something they're not believed or they are believed and that parent refuses to do anything about it because it shakes up their world, changes their life, and they're embarrassed. And that child has to suffer in silence for the rest of their life, even into their adult years. And then it affects how they manage relationships in their adult years. So that's the story. That's the update on Corey Jake's Brandon Coleman, Richard Brandon Coleman, which I always know as Brandon, but Richard Brandon Coleman, the voice. That's all. That's the story. I think, I think all we should do Shouldn't be a whole lot said. Just put prayer hands, perhaps, in the comments. That's it. It's just, it's just, then we have the prayer hands. If you if you believe in if you believe in prayer, condolences, prayer hands, in the comments. TFG TV reporting. Peace out.